stone are mined. She's going to be right here in this room with me whilst I uh, put together this track. So there I was messing around with a sample in FL Studio when I decided to Shazam it. And this right here is a track that showed up. So uh, it's from the 80s or the 70s. And uh, what I've done is I've added a kick and a snare to it. I think I added some hi-hats, not too sure, I can't remember. So anyway, I was sort of messing around with this track and uh, I thought I'd do the rest on camera. Right, so once again, this is gonna be the camera angle. That way you get to see everything. That stuff there doesn't matter. And this doesn't matter. Uh, even that doesn't, this doesn't. So let's get started. Right, so these right here are the vocals and uh, the snares and kicks. I don't know if I should really play all that because I'm not too sure about the, uh, you know, copyrights and stuff on it. I found this sample by accident and decided to just play around with it. Anyway, there's a bit of an EQ on that. That's why it sounds a little odd, but uh, I'm gonna put that there for now. Also what I have is more of the track. So that is just before the vocals kick in, I think. And uh, there's an EQ on this, there's a low pass. So that low pass is slowly gonna fade out and the full track will kick in. And uh, all the frequencies will be there. I could repeat this maybe twice. And then we'll move that one across. Oh yeah, by the way, this isn't me making a tutorial. This is me making music or just, you know, messing around with FL Studio. All right, so this right here is the automation clip for the EQ. So when I play this. And this right here is the actual EQ. So when I press play, you can see that moving. Right, so I'll just put that there, and then when I move this, you can see that moving. That is the low pass opening up. So what I've done with this sample, and a couple other samples like it, is I've taken certain elements from it, then I've added effects to them. Also, this is mono. Don't know if you could tell, but that is how the sample was. So uh, I worked around it, but yeah, I didn't know until I uh, shazammed it. Then I realized I could just download the actual song and sample the original, but I thought I'd go with what I found. Okay, so what I've got here is a reverse snare. You can probably barely hear that. And it's also 33 degrees in my room, which is nice, although it's not really that nice. And right here. And that's the end of the track. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Now, also what I like to do sometimes is add a fade in and a fade out on the master volume using an automation clip like so. Now what I could do is put the vocals in right there. So it'll go something like this. Seems good enough. Let's add a few more elements. This is still mono. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some elements from this and add some effects to them and then put them underneath. Right, so what we have now is this in green and you're not gonna be able to hear this, not very well. Uh, I'm gonna have to bump up the volume by quite a lot. Anyway, this is how it sounds. Okay, so that sound right there is about 300 hertz and there's a bit of a stereo effect going on. Sort of sounds like phasing, but not quite. It does go quite well with this. But now I'm gonna add some more stuff. 
All right, so what we have now is this. And once again, I was working with a mono track, so I decided to make certain elements stereo or, you know, add effects to certain things. That is what that sounds like. And once again, there's a bit of a stereo effect going on, some sort of like ping pong type thing and uh, a bit of reverb. Not too sure what else I need to check. I might change a few of these effects. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll play this from there and I'll mute the original vocals. That way there's no copyright type thing going on. Right, so now what we need is a bass line and house alarm. I'm trying to recall some of here. Thanks. Okay, so we need a bass line and that can go there. When the song kicks in, the bass line will. So double click piano roll and uh, let's try to figure this out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bottle right there. Of course you can see it because I can see it, uh, but that is on top of my sub. And underneath that is a PlayStation 4, which is on top of the sub. And next to that is a baseball bat, which is sort of leaning against the sub. So there's a bit of rattling coming from that area, which is not the sub itself. And uh, some of these notes sort of, uh, you know, rattle. Pronounce your T's, I don't sometimes okay so i think the baseline sorted uh, more or less i'm just gonna take it down an octave um but this is where it sounds like in a higher octave hopefully you can hear it let's take it down an octave Maybe uh, these and these should sort of maybe start there. And these ones can go on a little longer. Yeah, that sounds uh, pretty good. Also, let me do that again because I played the vocals and uh, copyright. Right, so that's the bass sorted. I might just turn down the volume on that. After all, it's not exactly a bass track and music isn't always about bass. Okay, so what we have now is this, and this is just more of the track, uh, just a different part of it, so. <laughs> Gotta make it fit. There we go. All right, so what we have here is the higher frequencies that I've sort of messed around with. And I've added these here for a bit of variety. Seems to be coming along quite nicely. Um, just uh, this isn't going to stay the way this is. Obviously, it's going to change a little bit. Uh, maybe quite a lot. You probably find out what it's like when I post it on the other channel or uh, SoundCloud and SoundCloud. Okay, so I'm just going to mute the original vocals and uh, I'll play this so you can hear it. The bass line's a little different. Am 
might just change this baseline a little bit, change the length of these slightly. That should do. And then these other ones, increase them a bit. And now, Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, so I just wanted to increase the volume of the hats. And because I was originally just messing around with this track when I first started off, I didn't know I was gonna make it into a, uh, you know one of my own sort of mixes. So uh, there was no real way of me increasing the volume because everything was rendered together. So what I did was I decided to add some hats. You can't quite tell. But you can. Small adjustments is the best way to do it. Yeah, I just thought I'd make this short little video. I think it's short. I, I have no idea how how long have I been recording for. Let me see, uh, 50 minutes. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to make this video and um, what can I say? Uh, have a nice day. I will see you in the next one. Keep it up.